Hey, are we doing the wipe at 9 p.m.? <clears throat> check, check, one, two. And the purge at 9 p.m. That's what it says on your calendar. Are you sure? Let me check. Oh, let me see. Announcements, calendar. You know what? For some reason, it's showing it in UTC. It switched for me. It used to always be Eastern. But now it's showing it in Eastern time. I mean, excuse me, UTC time. So it's 5 p.m. Hold on. Let me check. Yeah, that's what I just thought. It's always been 5 p.m. And actually, the map wipe is Thursday, not Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah, I don't know why that's there either. Okay, cool. I'll fix that. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, uh, 5 p.m. All right, cool. This is the first time you can't go to church because there's an attack helicopter there. <laughs> Boy, I would have ran out blindly. <laughs> I didn't know. And Rico went to eat. He went to oh. eat dinner. I did. <laughs> yeah, because we were working on a pretty cool event after church. Oh, nice. Yo, check out this outfit. That's pretty wild. Hel oh, a helicopter left? Nice. Yeah, this is all new stuff. Now we can go to church. <laughs> funny oh <laughs> mm -hmm. scared me you actually did scare me <laughs> that's funny <laughs> nice nice all right let me update these slides this is a while Again, we heard. All right. Copy link. <laughs> they hit it up again. <laughs> wow, I don't remember it being that strong. Is that the actual flame th flamethrower? Yeah, this is the actual one. Here. Oh dang! Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Wait, can I still hurt you? Uh, uh, try. Uh, wait, try again. I don't think you can. I think I ran out of. Oh yeah, you can still hurt me. Uh, can I hurt you? Light wait, me up. Uh, one sec. Um. Oh yeah. That's interesting. I think when it's I on the ground. The, yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're burning me. You're burning me. Yeah, if it's on the ground, it hurts me, but not otherwise. Oh, okay. Church arson.
Yeah, let's see here. Check, check, one, two. Check, check, one, two, check. Check, check, one, two. made my rusty church carvable pumpkin up on the uh, stage on the stage oh that's awesome I, that's so cool is it like drawing yeah it's just like you have to go in and paint the sign and then you draw and then you just light it wow that's awesome that's cool all right let me set up the uh that's really cool let me set up the cam For the stream here. Oh, oh I, see. Uh, I see. It's like a, yeah, like a painting of, like a uh, picture, picture painting. That's pretty cool. But it's like 2D look. Yeah. Client cam speed. I like to go 0.1. Cam lerp. Point three. Cam look speed. There we go. Debug camera. All right, let's rock and roll, guys. Check, check, one, two, three. Check, check, one, two. All right, let's do this. Hey everyone, we're going to start uh, with Church Today in Rust. So what's up everybody? I got the debug camera going. So if you see me uh, standing still, uh, don't mind me. Um, I am just uh, getting some good shots for YouTube, for TikTok, all that type of stuff. I imagine, uh, this is me and Octane today, but I imagine people are out trick-or-treating. It's Halloween day, but we're still having church, man. You know, we're two or three gathered. We're just going to rock it, man. So, um, And for those watching on Twitch, what's up? Uh, for those watching on TikTok as well, I hope everyone's doing really good. All right, let's go ahead and start out uh, with a word of prayer. And then Octane's got some announcements to make. 
Um, and then after that, yeah, we'll just get into the uh, we'll get into the to the word today. So, Father, just pray that you be with everyone uh, where, wherever they're at. Um, maybe they're trick or treating or catching up with school. May they just be blessed and encouraged. Uh, may everyone be safe as we hit the streets at night. Um, and I just pray just for uh, just a beautiful uh, time of worship. And in Christ's name, we pray. Amen. All right, my friends. Uh, Octavian, why don't you come up and let us know what's going on today? All right, all right. Thanks, everybody. Um, like to give you a quick update on some of the stuff. If you have not tried the new Halloween update that uh, Face Punch put out, great time to try it. I think it's only about a week long. Uh, it's popping on our server. Outstanding way to to kind of see what Face Punch really wanted to do with it without having to worry about players griefing you, you know, trying to build your Frankenstein and everything. So it's a great place to come on and just give it a try. And just a reminder, guys, this Wednesday, November 3rd, we start wipe at 5 p.m. I know we have a lot of bases here. People are going to be coming back in. If you haven't been to our server, pop in. You know, we give some uh, uh, kits to get started, and it's a great way if you want to come in and just try to raid some bases, and hopefully you'll stay. And then Thursday, the 4th at 5 p.m., we're going to wipe it. We're going to start new, fresh. Uh, all your BPs wipe, all of your coins. So if you have any left over, now's the time to come in and spend it for the wipe. That's pretty much all I have. All right. Thanks, Octane. Appreciate that. Uh, letting people know what's going on. And, yeah, Rico sent a message about going live on TikTok. I Man, I forget about that. I should be doing that every time. I'll, I'll, say, I'll set that up for next time, but that's definite. Uh, I kind of don't know why that – it's kind of an obvious thing to do that kind of slipped my brain. Um, the other thing is, too, my, while we're talking about wipe, uh, I'm curious if on November, me and Octane were talking about, and so for you guys watching on demand later, uh, maybe you want to give some input. We're thinking about doing a month wipe. Uh, for November, and here's the reason why is because people are busy with school, the holidays, and all that. And so, maybe a week into wipe, you think, "Oh, I want to go in," but you know, there's only a week left, and what I build is going to get taken down. So, I wonder if in November, and you guys give us some feedback um, in the Discord channel there. I wonder if in November we try a, a month wipe for the November or December because people are busy, um, and so. Yeah, that you know, after maybe a week and a half in, you're like, oh, I want to get in there and build. You you'll have plenty of time to get something going. Um, so that's a thought. The other thing too is, I think after a couple of weeks, I'm gearing up to go to the underwater labs and you know do some more of the monuments. But um, you know, wipe is coming around. So I don't know. I think we'll try that out. Uh, maybe Rico, if you want to give some input on that as well. Um, so, anyways, uh, just a little thought. Maybe we'll put a little vote up there. Um, or get everyone's input, but I'm thinking a month wipe uh, for the next one. And I think we're going to do some fun stuff. I've been checking out a couple different maps. Um, one's called Undead. The other one's called Mon Monster Land. Uh, so we'll definitely check those out. I think it'll be fun. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so let's uh, let's hop into the, the scripture for today. I'm going to be on debug camera mode, so if you're here in Rust and don't see me moving around, I'm just getting some sweet shots uh, for those on uh, watching TikTok later, as well as uh, YouTube um, and Twitch right now. So uh, as a church across the metaverse, we are studying the book of 1 John. Um, 1 John is, uh, at the end of the day, we can boil it down that the writer is encouraging us to show love towards one another. Now, that's a theme. Like We're seeing that over and over again through scriptures that it's this love that we want to have towards one another that's really, really important. Attending church, that's cool. You know, doing uh, religious things, you know, that's, you know, that can be cool as well, religious activities. But what's most important of, above all that is that we show love towards one another. And we're going to be seeing that through the book of 1 John. We're going to be reminded of that. And I think it's good to be reminded of that because life is busy. You got work, you got school, you got, uh, you know, it's, you know, all the hours are filled up uh, with all these things we're involved with. And so it's a good reminder that as we're going in our lives, that we show love as much as we're able. I know people can get on our nerves. Uh, people can make us upset. Uh, but we want to do show love towards one another. So uh, let's dive into a few of the scriptures on, on the book of First John. And my encouragement to you as well is that you go back and read the whole chapter. 
because we're just highlighting a couple of verses just for you, just to kind of whet the appetite, just to kind of get you thinking. And then my encouragement to you is throughout the week, just take some time and read First John. And First John is actually a real short chapter. So, you know, tackling a verse or two a day, just chewing on that, thinking about that, I think is uh, really valuable. So uh, let me spin the camera over here, and we're going to look at this first uh, verse over here to my right, uh, your left. And here's how he starts out um, uh, the chapter on 1 John. John was a follower of Jesus Christ, and he wants to let you know that he actually has seen and heard the things that have been happening, and that this is actually... Um, Wait, hold on. I got a. I think we got a Twitch raid happening. Uh, what's up, Pastor Brock? Raiden. All right, bringing lots of viewers over. What's up, Brock? I hope you had a good stream over there. And we're just jumping into uh, Church and Rust with um, First John. So thanks for the raid. I appreciate it. Hey, man. Good stuff. Thank you. Really appreciate that, man. So. Um, if you're just popping in here on the raid, we're studying First John, and we're looking at this verse where it says, Christ was alive when the world began, yet I myself have seen him with mine own eyes and listened to him speak. I have touched him with my own hands. He is God's message of life. So the writer John wants to give you, to let you know that he's actually seen Jesus. He's actually heard him. He's actually uh, interacted with him. He's touched him. He's been around him. And he wants to let us know at the end of the day what he discovered with his experience with Jesus is that he is God's message of life. And I think that the reason John started out this way is because, man, is, does God exist? Does this Jesus person exist? I kind of don't know. There's a big debate about it, you know, that he was actually e even here on earth or not. Maybe there's evidence, maybe there's not. And so there's just a lot of back and forth. And John wants to put in to this conversation the reality that he is real. He's a real person. He's not just a, a myth, a lore, a legend, a fairy tale passed on from generation to generation. John wants to encourage us to really think that he's actually seen him. He's actually listened to him speak. He's actually touched him with his own hands. And what he's discovered is that this Jesus person is who he says he is. He is God's son. He loves you. And he's God's message of life. And that reflects what we read in John 10.10, 10, where, where Jesus says, I have come so that you can have life and life to the full. So at the end of the day, this message of life, is it's real, it's true, it's tangible. And John starts out uh, the chapter that way, and he wants to encourage us with that. All right, so um, now let's go over to the second uh, passage over here. I'm going to swing the camera over. And let me do a little wide shot to get uh, Octane and Rico here in the shot so you guys see what's going on. Uh, Looks like Octane uh, did this uh, rusty church pumpkin carving. That's pretty sweet. They just added that to rust. I think that's pretty tight. All right, so uh, next chapter. All right, so John's like, he's real. It's legit. Um, this, is ha this is happening. It's not fake. And he is God's message of life. And, and the next part, he says, again, I say, we are telling you about what we ourselves have actually seen and heard. We've actually seen him. We've actually heard him. And then look at the underlying words here in this next uh, Bible verse. It says, so that you may share the fellowship and the joys we have with, with, Father, with the Father and with Jesus Christ, his Son. So John's saying, at the end of the day, I'm, I, what, I'm, what I really want you to know is that you can have fellowship, or in other words, a relationship. That you can have relationship and joy with God the Father and God the Son. This is what the, the writer wants to communicate with us. And this is where you, you may have heard uh, religion uh, or uh, religion is, uh, or Christ is not about religion. It's about a relationship. And I, I believe that's where we get this from here in this passage, so that we may share the fellowship or the relationship and the joys we have with, with the Father and with Jesus Christ's Son. And so at the end of the day, John 
had this amazing, beautiful relationship with, with God, with Jesus Christ, with God's son. He seen him, he heard him, he touched him. He is the message of life and he wants us, you and I, to experience that. He wants you and I to have the joy of knowing who this uh, person is, who this God son is, who this God man is. And so um, that's why I believe John wrote this letter to encourage us. You can have this joy. You can have this relationship. So let me go back and read it. It says, again, I say, we are telling you about what, what we ourselves have actually seen and heard so that you may share the fellowship and the joys we have with the Father and with Jesus Christ, his Son. This is the purpose of the letter. He wants you to enjoy this relationship with God. And then he keeps on going. He says, and if you do as I say in this letter, then you too will be full of joy and so will we. So John wants you to have a relationship with God. He wants you to enjoy this relationship with God, to be full of joy. And that is the purpose of this letter. So now let's go to the next uh, verse, which is right behind me here. There's a couple things that John wants to set straight here. And he says this, This is the message God has given us to pass on to you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. So that's a really important truth that John wants to communicate, that God is light. There's no darkness in him. Um, he's uh, conveying, we can have confidence in this God. We can have confidence in Christ. So the next part says this. So if we say uh, we are his friends, but go on living in spiritual darkness and sin, we are lying. So at the end of the day, uh, John really just wants to get us honest with ourselves, uh, honest with what our hearts and our minds and our life, the condition, and he wants to encourage us to be to be authentic and to really evaluate if we're living in light or if we're living in darkness. And I think when I read the scripture, I think he's actually talking about religious people, religious people who say, you know, oh, you know, I'm 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 good, I, you know, I don't do anything wrong. And there's an arrogance about that. And I think John's kind of directing towards that community or that towards that religious attitude. So if we say we are his friends, but go on living in spiritual darkness and sin, we are lying. Now let's look at the, the next passage over here to my left and your right. All right. Well, let me get this camera. There we go. But... If we are living in the light of God's presence, just as Christ does, uh, then we have wonderful fellowship and joy with each other. And the blood of, of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from every sin. Every sin, every mistake, every failure, every regret, all the guilt, all the shame, whatever. You just pile it up and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from every sin. We were released from that. Uh, there's a beautiful passage of scripture where it says, uh, God remembers our sins no more. He doesn't even think about it anymore. We can beat ourselves up about it. You know, we can, you know, kind of, you know, uh, be unkind to ourselves and beat ourselves up. But God has released us. He's moved on. There's another passage that says he buries it in the deepest sea. There's another passage of scripture where he says he takes our sin and removes it as far as the east is from the west. So anybody listening, watching now, maybe you're a part of Brock's raid that just came in on Twitch. You're watching on TikTok. The good news is that all your mistakes and failures and regrets and sins and all of it, whatever you want to call it, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from every one of those sins. Not just some, not just a few, all of it. So take it all and release it to him. He cleanses us from all the sin. And so the writer here, look at, look at the words. He's encouraging us to live in the light. This is the, the reality that he wants to live in, is in the light of God's presence, which we do by faith. Because we literally can't see God. Like when you wake up on Monday morning, you're not going to like, you know, go to the breakfast table and you see a physical form of God. No, there's this aspect where we believe and we have faith that he's with us, that he's with, within our spirit. So 
Let me read the verse again. It says, but if we are living in the light of God's presence, just as Christ does, then we have wonderful fellowship and joy with each other. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from every sin. Again, the writer is inviting us into this relationship, which is by grace through faith. Um, that's beautiful. All right, now let's go to the last couple verses over here. Um, over here, as we spin around to my left, uh, John's encouraging us to be uh, to get um, honest. And he says this, if we say that we have no sin, hey, I'm good, man, I'm perfect, I don't have any issues. We are only fooling ourselves and refusing to accept the truth. Now, I don't think John here is trying to beat us, you know, uh, beat us down, make us feel guilty. Uh, but he's just saying, hey, listen, just be honest. We all, we're human. We all struggle with one thing or another. Could be anger, could be jealousy. I mean, you name it, there's a big list of those things. And we're humans. We're going to have a shortcoming. You know, we're all going to have something we struggle with. We're all going to have something we're going to go with. So, and, and I, again, I think he's talking to religious people here. And he says, if we say that we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and refusing to accept the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he can be depended on to forgive us and to cleanse us from every, from every wrong. That uh, word right there, I'm going to zoom in on it. That word right there, confess, has this idea of saying the same thing as. So it's this idea of just being honest and authentic with God. And if we confess our sins to him, I love this, he can be depended on. Um, there's another translation that says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins. Faithful means he'll do it every time. Just means he has the right to do it. So he, every time uh, he has the right to do it, he will forgive us and cleanse us from every wrong. Every wrong. And that's beautiful. All right, let me spin over here for the last verse. And here it is. Um, and this kind of goes a little bit into chapter two because chapter one ends kind of a little bit weird. So um, all these chapters and verses were added later. So uh, chapter two kind of finishes off the thought. So here we go, bleed into chapter two a little bit. And he says, my little children, I am telling you this so that you will stay away from sin. But if you sin, if you screw up, if you mess up, if you fail, whatever, there is someone to plead for you before the father. In other words, you got someone's got your back. He's got your back, and he's pleading bef uh, for you before the Father. His name is Jesus Christ, the one who, who is all that is good and who pleases God completely. Man, I love that. We make mistakes. We make some failures. Somebody's got our back. So let me read all the scripture all together, and then I'm going to close in prayer. And here we go. Um, and again, this is just a little preview um, taking snippets of First John, encourage you to go back and read it. So let's re um, let me read it all together. It says, Christ was alive when the world began, yet I myself have seen him with my own eyes and listened to him speak. I have touched him with my own hands. He is God's message of life. Again, I say we are telling you about what we ourselves have actually seen and heard so that you may share the fellowship and joys we have with the Father and with Jesus Christ, his Son. And if you do as I say in this letter, then you too will be full of joy, and so will we. This is the message God has given us to pass on to you, that God is light and in him is no darkness at all. So if we say we are his friends, but go on living in spiritual darkness and sin, we are lying. But if we are living in the light of God's presence, just as Christ does, then we have wonderful fellowship and joy with each other. And the blood of Jesus, his son, cleanses us from every sin. If we say we have no sin, we are only fooling ourselves and refusing to accept the truth. But if we confess our sins to him, he can be depended on to forgive us and to cleanse us from every wrong. My little children, I am telling you this so that you will stay away from sin. But if you sin... There is someone to plead for you before the Father. His name is Jesus Christ, the one who is all, the one who is all that is good and who pleases God completely. All right, let's close in a word of prayer. Uh, Father, just want to thank you so much for this passage of scripture. I just love 
that at the end of the at the end of the day we have someone someone has our backs all the mistakes that we've made all the failures that we've gone through all the regrets all the sins you forgive us from every kind of sin and you want to restore us into fellowship and a relationship with God that's beautiful uh, help help us maybe for those of us who are you know think um, maybe religiously we have no problems Help us to be honest with ourselves, to realize that we are humans and we do make mistakes and that you'll cleanse us from every wrong. God bless everyone here in Rust, on TikTok, on Twitch, on demand. Uh, may they be encouraged. May they be blessed. Keep us safe in this Halloween evening as we go out and trick-or-treating and that we'll just have a great time. And we pray all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen, everybody. Church is over. Shoot the guns. <laughs> it's, if you're watching on Twitch, that's how we uh, end church. Yay. <laughs> got, wow. I got some uh, some goodies here. Ooh, nice. Let me get out of debug. That's for you guys. Oh, nice. Loot bag. <laughs> Oh, have we seen these before? Lo large loot bags? Is that new? Uh, no, yeah, they're no, they're from around. collecting. Sh no, they're from collecting so much candy you can upgrade it. I've opened three of these so far. Oh, really? Oh snap! Uh. Good stuff. Thank you, Twitch. Yes, sir. Indeed. Hey, can we, uh, is this zombie thing playable by three people or not? Nah? Need more people? Uh, you yeah, know, it's, it's playable. We can join it. It, I, it doesn't Just work asking, for me, uh, though. No, you can still join I it because it's uh, player versus player as well. It doesn't work for you? Or the... No, I don't take damage. Oh, that's weird. All the other players will be able to do damage to you, but yeah, for some reason not this one. Alright, let me let me start it. Wait, wait, let me dump my stuff off first. Oh, yeah. okay, you should be fine with it, but sure. Alright, we're good. Do I like that outfit? Ah, uh, yeah, you're good without. Your... Thank you, thank you. It's in the, in the corner. Oh, who's that? Do you see our Frankenstein? Here, come check this out real quick. Uh, let's see it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? That is, that is pretty cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. DJ, I created the large one. I didn't realize there's different body parts. Uh, oh. Oh, back here. I didn't even see that. Oh, wow. Wait, can I hurt it? It doesn't look like it. It has 150 health. See, oh, okay. if you if you look in the box here, DJ, you'll see the different size body parts. Oh, light, medium, small, medium, and large. Yeah, wow, yeah. wow. And then heavy, heavy. And I built an all heavy one. Oh, I see, I see. All right, events open. All right, here we go. Event. That's cool, man. Well, sleep Frankenstein. There we go.
<laughs> Where'd you get that one? I got. Uh, -oh. something happened. Oh, okay, he's uh. Triggered reading. It's uh, what's Hawk thing? Where's Hawk thing? Oh, there he oh, is. There is. Sorry, we'll we'll join we'll, we'll join the the game event again. Do events to join? What's up now? Yeah, it wouldn't let me wake up there for a second. That's weird. <laughs> do a backslash event. Oh, uh, so af after I, the uh, event, I want to do a TikTok with your ghost outfit and this is Frankenstein. Not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll think of something. Yeah, I need to bail around six. All right. We'll just do one game and then we'll do the TikTok. All right, what do I do? Last man standing. Am I supposed to do something? Kill the zombies and other players. <laughs> They're all coming at you. No. Ah. <laughs> I guess I died. Oh, one, one, uh, one shot kill. <laughs> That's awesome. That was fun. Huh? All those eyes like following me around. <laughs> Dude, there's like a ton, yeah. ton chasing you. All right, let me think about this for a second. I want to. If you guys got, give me like five minutes. Maybe not even that long. How, let me think of. Let me think of a. So that's kind of freaky. Dude, it's like really interesting skin tones. All right, I'm on debug camera here. You guys still hear me? Yeah, you need to wait till it turns daylight though. All right, um, I don't know, the, oops, the nighttime might actually be kind of, can you open the garage door for me? I'm on the camera mode. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. 
All right, here's what we're going to do. I don't know. Here, all right. So go put your Frankenstein back. All right. And then you're going to close the door. And then once you close the door, I'm going to have you open it and then wake up a Frankenstein. Dude, that's kind of freaky. <laughs> right, say that again. That is freaky stuff, man. All I'm right. Gonna, so I'm going to put some uh, smoke. Oh, something. nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so um, let me have like Rico pretend like if, you're working. If you throw throw down, oh, okay. Uh, throw, throw down outside, Rico. Throw down a, a flare, and it'll give it a real ominous glow. Well, that'd be cool too, yeah. If you throw it outside, like on each side of the door, it'll give it a weird glow. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So then, Rico, pretend like you're working on, like, Frankenstein or something, like at the controls or, or whatever. And then, Octane, close the garage door. And when I say action, um, you're going to open the garage door, and then you're going to wake up a Frankenstein. And then, I don't know, I'll put it to scary music or something on TikTok or whatever. All right. You guys ready? All right, yep. and action. Yep. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. All right, let's do it again. I screwed up. That was my bad. Can you put him back? And then I'll give you a second action window. Wake up the Frankenstein. Because I want to get like a... Hovering shot. Alright. Yeah, close the garage. Okay, stand by. And... Wait, Rico's... 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 Rico's not back in yet. Alright. I'm here, I'm here. And action! Alright, wait for the second action here. Let's hold on. Yeah, pretend like you're working. And second action. Oh, oh I screwed up. All right, one more time, one more time. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm trying to get fancy. I'm trying to be all fancy. One more time. We'll get it. <laughs> you didn't CPR. <laughs> yeah, we can. Let's just say that's what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, ready and first action. Yeah. And second action. And bye. Alright, and And why don't you both look at look at them, look at the Frankenstein. Like it's like yeah, there you go. Maybe do an emoji like a wave or some type of like uh <laughs> yeah. Wait, do that again, Rico, and Hold on, I'm getting some B-roll, so keep uh, doing stuff. Dude, that, they did a good job on that, that modeling. <laughs> One more time, Octane, on that. Well, let me do one more one more shot. Octane, do that again, and then I'm gonna push to Rika. Ready and action, emote. There you go. <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That's a great. All right, I got it. I got it. Perfect. 
Thanks, everybody. That's actually kind of cool, man. No problem. Pretty sweet. Yeah, they look great. Rico, I think you have to put him to sleep since you woke him up. Oh, okay. There you go. You guys want to do one last game? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I can quickly do it. Event, enter event. Who goes there? Who's knocking? Is that us? No, uh, it might be somebody up at the um, farm area. Uh. Oh no! No! <laughs> yeah, Ninja, I got one for you. I took it. I took it as a wide shot so you could crop it. Need be. How do I get back on? Is that somebody? 
No! <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's funny. <laughs> Gladius. Get it. You got him? Oh, nice. Hey, who raided our base last wipe? Who was that? Um. Uh, Stone in Discord, but what's his name in uh, the in-game? Uh, his name's different in-game. I forget. It, yeah, I couldn't remember what it was. Oh, uh, shoot, what was his name? I can't remember. I don't remember. No. I just know it's stone. Have you taken these out hunting with you? Yeah, I tried, but he's a little slow. Even the heavy one? My heavy one. I'm wondering if you do the lighter ones, um, if, if they're quicker. Ah. You get much trick or treaters where you're at? On that road? No, we never get them up here. That's what I thought. Nobody wants to travel all the way up here. <laughs> <laughs> the first year we moved up here, I bought a ton of candy and I gave none of it away. Oh, <laughs> really? That's funny. He keeps knocking. Randall. Oh, there he is. It was Randall. <laughs> What's up, Randall? Sneaky. Base raid. I can't do this event. I got the to bounce. All right, see you, dog. Join, Randall. We got the game going. Join. Wait, shoot up in the air again? <laughs> so it's funny because the uh, when you lift your uh, gun up, it like exposes your mids. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. Wow. Ooh, daytime. Ooh, nighttime. Ah! 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 I have too many of them chasing me. Ah! Ah! I'm going to get them to aggro. <laughs> aggro him! Aggro! <laughs> Who's going to be... <laughs> Oh, look behind you! <laughs> did they not? Did they not aggro? You? Yeah. Aggr did they not aggro you? I got so many chasing me. <laughs> I know. Help! <laughs> ah! 
That's hilarious, man. Yeah. Oh no, fight each other now, fam. Oh, oh, Randall. Oh, what's that? Randall. Did you win, Randall? Who's that? Who's the arm sticking out of the door? <laughs> Could be the Frankenstein. Oh, it is the Frankenstein. See you later. See you, Randall. I gotta run. Open. No, we got stuff in there. We got loot in there. I can't open. See you, buddy. All right, Twitch. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys later.
is Drew, and I'm the face of hands behind the Lone Fox YouTube channel. I started my first channel when I was 16, and I was able to teach myself.